Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Last time we got out of the streets of Silent Hill and back indoors in the Historical Society, uh, which had a stairway that led on forever. Like, I think we were walking good down, down like a good two, three minutes before we got to a door. And we are now in the Toluca Prison. Uh, the fact that it's called Toluca Prison, it Toluca Lake, which highly suggests that this prison is underneath the lake. One would think, anyway. I don't know. And we're going through it, and we encountered the scariest enemy of all, wall-crawling mannequins. We have yet to actually see one, though. One crawled away, and I don't think we've seen it since. We are now in the yard where we're hearing, like, hoofbeats. But yeah. Okay, so I guess we're going downstairs. Oh. Well then. Um. I don't know where else to go. We don't have a key, do we? No. Okay, the only thing I can think of is the two weights that we have. Uh, we have to be able to use them. Stay fucking dead. Okay, I think those are just ambient noises. Okay, no, we need... We need the others. I think this has to be a clue. This has to be cleaned by Tuesday. Make sure you get the cons to do it by then. Previous Senate has been moved to death row as per the warden's orders. So how do I get to death row? Oh, I see it. On the bottom left, it shows a serpent. This shows a boar. This shows a... Oh, sorry, that's a pig. The other one was a... Wait, there's two boars? There are two boars. And that's a dove. I don't know, not seen that the first time. snake this way I 
guess this is the death row. Fuck you. Oh, you're rendering again. Oh, this game. Reminder to all guards, effective immediately, it is absolutely mandatory for everyone to familiarize themselves with the revised generator maintenance manual. We all remember what happened last time there was a spike, though I'm almost certain most of us would very much want to forget. We will not have another incident. They hate the lights? be together soon. I don't know what the lights are supposed to do. I, I think they may hate the lights. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I see you. I... Oh, you bitch. Is that a leg or no?
why I tried to do that. I'm so sorry, guys. I haven't been saying anything this whole time. Um, I'm actually not that tense. The The spiders aren't that bad. It's just whenever they lunge at you, you can't avoid it. it, it uh, like, I, I tried dodging a bunch of times. They're too fast. Alright, so what can we do here? So, safety instructions. Power transfer level. Screen maintenance level. Use to test before each use. Yellow. Optimal level. Maintain for safe operation. Red. Danger level. Do not operate. Can result in power spike and system overload. Um, it's probably what we want. And they'll probably let everyone loose. Oh. Oh yeah, they're walking around now. Okay, so I got one more wait. So that comes back out there. Okay. Um... Oh my god. Where is he? Oh, he blew up. Right. Saw a mannequin go in one of these rooms. There she is. these rooms afterwards. Piece of shit. can't go in there anymore. Oh, I missed out on some stuff. Oh, well. Uh, this way, yeah. Let's go through the rooms carefully. Radio's going off, which means... Oh, hi.
Uh, I knew it. What else is there? Where? My god, such sensory overload here. Oh, we never even went in here. I think this is where I need to go anyway. I think this might be locked. Yeah. Oh, we made a complete circle. Okay, this is where I wanted to check out. Now, bitch. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So that's where I wanted to crawl through. We'll do that afterwards. Let's go through these areas first. Aha! Looks like you can dodge him. Just gotta be lucky. months to go. So that's where I came from. There you are. Ooh, right in the air. You can argue I'm wasting bullets, but I got a ton of bullets to spare, so... Okay, prisoner execute, uh, execution DR88 report. Prisoner E662, age 23, male, sex male, method, electrocution, witness zero. Notes of medical staff. During last night's execution, prisoner assumed to have been disabled. Simply stood up and approached the chair without any assistance. From now on, take utmost care when reviewing the prisoner's medical history. Guards need to be made aware of how capable the prisoners are in order to avoid any incidents. Thank you for making yourself known to me. Oh my god, this alarm is driving me crazy. Oh, 
Armory, yes. Okay. In the center of Silent Hill lies the town's major tourist attraction, Toluca Lake. There's a darker side to the scenic, beautiful reservoir. What may seem like a bread and butter local ghost story you've heard time and time again, this case rings surprisingly true. One fateful, fog-bound November day in 1918, a tourist cruiser called Little Baroness has set sail never to dock again. Newspaper articles reporting the event contain no details of the ship's disappearance. Despite an extensive police search, neither a single fragment of the ship nor the remains of the passengers or the crew have ever been recovered. But in 1913, an even more bizarre incident has taken place. Many pages are missing and torn out. Who knows how many souls were taken by the waters of Toluca Lake? Do the eyeless skulls of the dam stare hopelessly at the surface from below, yearning for a breath? Or was their mysterious fate different altogether? Yeah, pretty much the same thing was written in the original Sound Hill, too. It says, like, uh, the ship's disappearance and, like, even more bizarre, and then pages are missing out. Um, this was one of the questions, like, how many souls from the little baroness uh you know fell like are in the lake oh, of course rendering again funnily enough for those of you that don't know there's actually a silent hill arcade game like actual arcade uh complete with like guns um and it's basically about the ship it's about the little baroness which basically confirmed that, yeah, it did sink into Luca Lake. I mean, I'm sure you can watch the whole thing, the whole playthrough on, like, YouTube at some point. Like, uh, not at some point. Somewhere on YouTube, there's a full playthrough of it. Oh, okay. I'm back here. Which means the rifle is mine. Oh, yeah. Heard another scream. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so... So we have another of the weights. No, you can wander around, that's fine. Okay, you know what? No, you can't wander around. I was gonna leave you alone. Clearly you wanna be a bastard. Okay. Until I hear a radio shatter, or static rather, I'm gonna assume that I'm good. Oop. Okay. 
There's the bolt. You know what? Get fucked. Get fucked. Seriously. Okay. Uh What did I do? Did I do the boar? I thought I did the boar. did this one apparently wait what is I did the bull or the ox rather It is bad to take when they own they said they own when no one, when one does own the other can't take but I cannot own should the warden take no he shouldn't own again I will take I will own absolutely 100% agree with you I see you. Oh, I did get him. Unfortunately, that one ran away. Over there. There's so many of them. Okay, no. I'm extremely sorry about this stuttering, guys. So the lights, I don't think they're afraid of the lights. I, I, I think it's just more so I can see them, right? Uh, up on the walls. 
think now most of them are are downstairs. All right. Sunday morning routine. Disruption reported. C140 yelling about C77 haunting him. Claims bars can't hold him. Administered sedative to C140. Noon lockup. Perform precautionary search of C777's 777 uh, cell D5. No traces found of the prisoner leaving a cell unsupervised. Recommend further psychiatric evaluation of C140. Afternoon routine. C-140 and C-777 missing from their cells. Alarm raised. Search in effect. Update. Bathroom door barred from inside. Efforts made to get them open. We don't hear anything from the other side. Evening lockup. Nothing. Okay. Um, I did also optimize the settings a little bit, so if it looks a little bit different, um, you'll forgive me. But I'm... I just want to make sure the game runs smoothly. Yeah, it's the one downside of like playing these new games. It's like they're a lot of them are very resource heavy, resource reliant, and uh, my PC is not the most powerful. I've walked on these floors before, like, with the spit. It's never hurt. So I believe this is where I came from. Yeah. Let's check out the other D cell blocks. Okay. Oh. The fuck is that? A shiv key? Okay. <clears throat> Shame you didn't find it. Shouldn't you know this place better than I do? Now it's getting too late. I'm going for a walk. Clever boy, here's your reward. We could both use a bath. Okay, so... There's a door I missed. Here? No. Through here. 
all going downstairs. Yeah. So this just opens this up, which is fine. Oh well. Uh, nope. I'm getting turned around again. Yes, this way. What is going on? Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm getting turned around. Alright. Is it this? Here. Yes. Alright. I don't know why that was so hard for me to comprehend. Oh, well then. C4. Is there a way? Oh, yeah. You son of a... He's coming. I know he is. The bars, the walls, they can't hold him. He'll get in. He'll get in. I still have time. I can make it almost through. But he's close. I can feel it. He's coming to finish it. Let him come. Uh-oh. Rot roll. Um... Hi. Thought you could fool me. Check out this side before we go over on that side. That's where the door is. They won't save you. Trust me, I'm under no illusion that anyone's coming to save me. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Didn't listen. He's here. Don't worry, that's that's just the uh, music. Or the ambience, rather. Sounds like a nurse. Oh, 
Let's start using some shotgun shells. Okay. Hi. Yeah, that's a nurse. something. Oh, never mind. thought I saw a hole in the wall. Oh, I think it was this I was seeing. Um, so what was the point of this? Why are they giving so much ammo? Oh, there's a hole there. Still wake up. Alright, just go, 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 go. I can't believe I dodged them. so close. Door's open now? Oh, this is shit. They opened the door. That's why. That's... That's cheating. Whatever, I don't care. Um... Yeah, we can go back down this way. We're done with this area. Oh, I don't want to waste. Looks like we'll just have one more place to go. So it's either going to be the the dub or the boar.
Wait. Oh. There we go. Yeah. I figured the dove would be last because it's on a lower floor. Um. Oh, the boar was this way. And I went the wrong way again. Just ignore, just ignore. What area is this? Visitation room, an infirmary. Incident in the infirmary. Sunday morning routine. Uh, D-183 assaulted medical staff. Attempted to steal medication. Situation under control. Noon lockup. Rumors of disease spreading among the prisoners. Reported to administration. Afternoon route. E-130 had a coughing fit. Reported to medical staff. to a dead end, I believe. I think. Oh. man's always prepared. If you say so. This goes where? Okay. Here's the visitation rooms. Oh, that doesn't sound pleasant. Hi. I really gotta change back to the gun. Like, why? Why? Guard sink where lepers now. Don't know why, but they stay away. I don't complain. Good, good for you. Why can't there just be like little baby rabbits and puppies? Why must we always resort to horrific shit coming after us? Like, like, what the fuck is that? What am I supposed to do with that noise? Oh, 
want to say I shot her in the ass, but I'm not entirely sure. No. I'm sure she'll come to me. Yeah, see? Anyway... <sighs> Nothing like a leisurely stroll through the fucking prison. Come on. Reap what you sow. Hmm. Interesting key. He locked himself in. Took the key. None of the CEOs got a spare. But I know there is one. He was going nuts over the disease. See if the head nurse doesn't have it. Thinks he's safe up there. You'll get what's coming to him. <laughs> Regarding the emergency medical examination report, the report's conclusions are incorrect. Prisoners are sick. Examinations are to be repeated until their condition is properly diagnosed. Use more invasive methods if necessary. We must know the true nature of this affliction. All else is secondary. Well, that's not very nice. I mean, isn't it a thing where even with uh, people on death row, you still gotta be, like, humane to them? What's going on out here? What is this? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That was an interesting puzzle. That was like the most what the fuck puzzle. You're supposed to use a lighter with candle wax and a horseshoe to be able to lift up the fucking grate. In what universe would that work? The grate's gonna be too heavy, the horseshoe's just gonna pull right out of the wax. I'm actually kind of glad they didn't reuse that one, because even back then I was like, how does that fucking work? Oh, that's where I came from. Come here, my babies. Hmm. 
Like, how many times do I need to fucking... Something else? Repeat examination report conclusions. None of the examined show any clinical sign of symptoms of, or a, of a life-threatening illness, contagious or otherwise. The recommended endurance tests were also performed. The results have been submitted directly to the warden, as per his specifications. Why are we doing this? Excellent question. That's exactly what I asked. Okay, there was something here. Ah, the key! The key to the greatest treasure in all the land. What is it? Freedom. Horrible, horrible freedom. New rules of conduct. Effective immediately. Guards are to keep their distance from prisoners at all times. Any attempts of approaching the guards by the prisoners are to be met with immediate disciplinary action. Prisoners are to be confined to their cells until further notice. So mean. Um, so I just want to make sure that I've gone everywhere. Yeah, I have. Looks like it. Just this one room down this hallway. It looks like it was blocked off, right? Yeah. But it's all marked off that it's marked, that it's blocked. right about the chapel. That makes sense. I was like, why are there candles and benches here? So this just leads back that way. Yep. Hi! That's interesting. We get to the warden's office. I'm guessing this is where the last wait is. Keep hearing that scream. Oh. Hang on, I'll, I'll read that in a second. Is it out that way? 
Yeah, it's not that way. Okay, it's not here. Six, 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 six. That's not a good sign. Oh, do I have to type it? Quite a puzzle. Come on. Gonna. Did I miss this door? Saw someone walking around past the lights out again. Whichever one of you that was, do I need to remind you must never leave your post without prior clearance? Next time I catch you, I'm reporting you to the ward. Catch me if you can. It's, it's fun. So that is. It's locked. It's not blocked. Last one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, we have one more. There we go. A prison basement. Lovely. Fucking lovely. Can you imagine if, like, James was wandering around and all of a sudden the cell closed behind him and locked? Like, what would you do? Am I supposed to get a jump scare? I saw you. There it is. There you are. You can dodge all you want.
Dodge all you want. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, lovely. Alright, let's explore the bottom part first. Shot her in the ass. I miss both times. This place looks... Yeah, no thanks. Due to recent acts of in inmate violence, prisoner D239 has been transferred to solitary confinement, cell F6. Okay, so I'm guessing this leads into there. I haven't searched F4 yet. Let's see right across. What the fuck? Woman in flight. Oh, I hope not. 436 people at a recital. Burning man. Very, very beautiful works of art. Very much so. So, okay. Well, there was something here. Oh, let's see. What is this? Five and F6. Ah. Over here. Over here. Oh, 
And it's locked. I knew it was gonna fucking lock. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I couldn't let them take you. And now you're... You're still there, aren't you? Fuck. Oh, jeez. See, what did I say about being locked in? And then they temporarily locked us in. Okay, so let's go upstairs, see what's there. Oh, okay. It's all lit up now. So we have to make the scales balance, I guess. Take the lightest. No. Uh, this one. No. There we go. Execution lever. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to save it one more time because I don't really want to do that again. How's this being lit up? There's no lights. Under veil of nightfall, in the ink of dusk, a blazing inferno engulfs the wooden husk. Screams of the innocent fill the night sky. He, who hell let loose, now watches them die. In twilight's grasp, a thief emerges sly. Through the veils of night, his purpose veiled awry. His nimble fingers, like whispers, they glide. And the goods of others, his lean stuff reside. 
In a shroud of twilight, a tale doth unfold. Where the shadows dance, their secrets are told. The shadowy figure, his motives unclear, steals his own kin, one he should hold dear. Okay, what are these bottom ones here? Beneath moonlight guise of villain's design, he trespasses where treasures brightly shine. With a selfish hand, with greed as his creed, claims the spoils, indulging every single need. Okay, so this is basically just finishing off what we believe. Should be the the results. Okay, so this is um <coughs> excuse me. This is a uh, arsonist. This is a thief. This is a kidnapper. In clandestine steps, darkness as his guide. The man ventures deeper where riches doth hide. An unseen intruder with motives untold, his hands eager to touch, to grab and to hold. So I think riches. We saw one here. Uh, this one, right? Beneath moonlight skies, a villain's design, it trespasses where treasures brightly shine. With a selfish hand, his greed as his creed, claims his spoils, indulging every single need. Yeah. So, with her senses failing, she looks mouth agape at, one who f at the one who forced her spirit to escape. Cold steel pierces vein, a sanguine flood, gazing back at her, her own flesh and blood. So a child, this person's child killed her. In shadows cast, the hunter lies in wait, his violent intent cloaked in a veil of fate. An enigma unfolds, motives undefined, as the prey approaches, their fates intertwined. So I guess a hunter and a wolf. Okay, so let's go, let's read this one. A cruel twist of fate, an outcome unsought. The little one perishes, it all was for naught. The kidnapper tears, his motives reveal, or tears, his motives reveal. From monstrous mother, the child did steal. So I think it was this one. Uh, steals his own kin, yeah. So this one goes there. As the spark of life from her eyes did flee, the man held his gaze, filled with wicked glee. An unfeeling sigh, the man's list... Lips doth sick ape. A thirst for more bloodshed begins to take shape. So I think this one is this one here. Because it was killing someone. Yeah. Desperation's grip suffocates the air. The attackers pass a tale of despair. A victim turned assailant, a tragic decree. On this side of ju judgment, pain sets both men free. I'm guessing it might be the last one, the one I said would be the hunter and the wolf, but it might just be two men. Let's see this one. Oops. A contorted chill dances on his spine as their souls fly forth on Thanatos' sigh. No sign of regret, not a tinge of guilt, but a fiery urge to destroy what God built. So, fiery urge, I'm guessing, is the arsonist. And this last one here. His avarice driving every cunning theft. No conscience stirs, no remorse is left. Not a hunger's pang, nor desperate need, but a heart consumed with relentless greed. This one sounds like this one, and by process of elimination, there. I, I think I got it right. I can't do anything else. Or do I just have to 
that. Okay, now what? Missing something? Oh. So I have to pull one of these. So what did this say? Pull ye but once on a rope frayed on a rope's frayed end. Choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales, think upon each sin, or let blind fate choose, let the judgment begin. Choose one justified from the dam, so someone who shouldn't be here. So this one killed, the arsonist 100% killed. No conscience stirs, no remorse is left, which means they're 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 definitely sinful. Shroud of Twilight, a tale doth unfold. So this one's potentially um, justified because the kidnapper's tears from his, his motives reveal. From a monstrous mother, the child he did steal. So potentially this one. With a selfish hand, with greed as his creed. So he's definitely guilty. We'll see our Pierce's vein. So this guy's definitely killed someone. So this one, they both killed each other. So I think this one, number three. Although, which one's number three? That's the other question. Does it say on the bottom? It doesn't. Okay, I'm going to save one more time. I'm going to assume it's going in the order. I'm going to assume this is one, two, and three. This, this seems like a new area, so I think I was right. Oh, thought there was a door there. Um, okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I guess we're jumping down again. I don't know why you're freaking out, James. Why would it be different now? Oh, 
Oh my god, bro. Just jump, James. a trap, you son of a bitch. How far down do you think we are? Like we went down that fucking staircase. And it took like two, three minutes. We jumped down four holes. And now we've taken an elevator probably like ten stories down, if not more. Oh, whoops. I, I would say we're at least like, I don't know, five, six miles underground. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. It's already running a little bit longer than I'd like. <sighs> but I need a break from this game. Um, we're... Uh... <laughs> it's... It, 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 it's funny how, like, we go from, you know, apartment buildings to a hospital to a fucking prison. And now God knows where the fuck we are. You know what I mean? All searching for a... a for his dead wife. Hey, I, I don't know. So, some of you commented that you would do this. I, I'm wondering if you're changing your minds now at this point. Would Would you go this far? For yeah, for closure, no less. I'd be like, hey, I, you can have her. Like, I'm sorry, but you you can fucking have her. Like, I, I, I get, like, love and all that shit, but it's like, first off, your wife's dead. You know. Second, you get a letter from a wife that died two years ago. What if it was a letter that was, like, lost in the mail or something? What if it's, some, what if it's your friend pranking you? What if it's literally your best friend be like, I'm going to fuck with him just because, I don't know, he borrowed my lawnmower a year ago and he didn't give it back. I'm going to fuck with him. Sends a letter from, you know, from his dead wife, and dude just leaves without even telling anyone. I don't know. It, it's clear James is not. I'm not gonna say all there, but like he's he's not handling shit properly. He's yeah. But then again, then again, maybe there's more to this. I mean, I know. I, there's more to this, obviously. It, it, if it's not clear by this point, there's a lot of allegory going on. Um, it'll be a lot... Well, it's not going to make sense to you now, but it'll make sense when the time comes. A lot of allegory going on. But anyways, I'm rambling in it again as I tend to do. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.